Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates. I am covering the tragedy out of Moscow, Idaho. Four college students brutally stabbed inside a home during the early morning hours of November 13th, 2022. Police have made zero arrests. They haven't identified any suspects publicly who did it. Now I wanna talk about one of the victims, Zana. Zana, um, I'm gonna show you something that kind of disturbing, might mean something and might not. I'll let you guys decide. I'll let everyone decide. Definitely wanna get everyone's input considering that whoever did this crime is still out there, right? So I think every factor is very important when it comes to the four victims and to discuss possible scenarios and situations. I have two photographs of Zana with bruises on her, bruises on her. And I'm gonna show you the first one here. This photograph came from the public Facebook profile of Zana. This is her profile pic. I'm gonna close in right here and show you. Look at that. Look at that right there on her shoulder. Looks like, what does that look like to you? So you can clearly see a bruise on her shoulder. I don't know where that's from and why somebody would post that online unless it's not a big deal and it was just an accident. And then here's another photo of Zana with bruises. This is a picture of Zana on the right, taken in front of a fraternity. Looks like it was posted on May 20th. 2022 i'm going to close in look at that on the on her leg what does that look like this time it looks like it's on her thigh now bruises on her shoulder bruises on her thighs what does that mean i mean it could mean nothing it could mean nothing it could mean that xana was just you know an outdoors person or a, you know acrobatic you know does just spunky and just gets caught up with things, you know, for activities and gets bumped around, or it could mean something else. Was she in an abusive relationship? Did somebody hit her? Was there a violent act done to her? You know, I'm just speculating here. I'm not saying either or, and I, but I think it's important to get the information out there, right? Was she in a bad relationship before these murders happened? Was, you know, she threatened? Did she get into a confrontation with anyone prior to the stabbings? Was she the target to these four stabbings? A lot of unanswered questions. I'm covering the case. I'm analyzing each of the victims. I've been putting out information um, about them. So definitely subscribe to my channel and check out uh, some information that I've put out there might ring a bell to you and you could comment and share what you know. I mean, that's what, you know, it's important. It's an open forum, a discussion for everyone to, you know, share, share information. The more insight you get, the better analysis you get might help solve this case in any way. That's what it's about. Um, putting, bringing awareness and keeping these individuals out in the spotlight, you know, no matter what happened to these victims, they did not deserve it. They did not deserve what happened to them, praying for their families, praying for the community. Hopefully um, authorities get answers soon. <sighs> Everyone be safe. God bless.